Hi everyone, I'm back with a haul. Um, most of this, uh, well, I think, yeah, it's all stamps. Um, plus a freebie. Um, so, these stamps come from all different folks. Um, I think they're all from eBay. Um, and I'm going to try and show you all the Christmas related ones first, or winter. Um, this is in Inky Antics, I think, by Tammy DeYoung. Um, got a Darcy's, I believe, U0957. It's a fireplace in case you guys are wondering. There's another fireplace. I don't, this is a Dots. It's called Hearth 102. And then this is a Stamp Passions one right here. Um, Merry Gentleman. You can see what he's doing. I have this one already because it came in a lot. Um, that's not why I purchased a lot. But uh, I do have this one already, so I'll probably be gifting that. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. There's some ink on it, but it looks like it's from ink from a ballpoint pen, maybe. Uh, Merry Christmas from JRL, which is also Dots. And then this bag right here, or sack, uh, also JRL, um, all wrapped up. So those are the Christmas ones, or winter ones. Put those off to the side. All right, so these are going to be uh, more spring-related items. This one, I did purchase uh, another PSX stamp. This is the Queen Anne's Lace. Actually, this one has um, some childhood memories attached to it. Uh, we lived in a, in a neighborhood when I was a kid. Um, our neighborhood was all built up except for the block that we purchased the house on. And so we used to ride around in the field that was behind our house because none of the houses, other houses were built yet. And the field was full of these Queen Anne lace um, flowers, amongst other things, like construction materials and stuff like that. But I remember the smell of the um, flowers just being the over, you know, overpowering smell of things. Um, but yeah, this is, um, it is a used stamp. Um, I'll be adding this to my PSX collection of flower stamps. I have ordered some more that I didn't have, and those will come in probably in the next couple of days. I did purchase this from Facebook, from a seller. Um, it looks like it says Crackerbox Stamps, rubberartstamps.com. I don't know if they are still in business, but I need to make a card with this for somebody. It's so cute. Um, this one is an Inky Antics stamp. Or no, it's a Judas stamp. O-70. I just like the two chickens. <laughs> Uh, he's consoling him. So cute. Um, I got these two stamps here. Um, and actually most of the next ones are from the same seller. Um, this one, uh, it says 2004 DRS. I don't know what company that is. So if somebody does know, you can let me know. I'd be curious to find out. Um, and then this one is a... Um, in Inky Antics from Can Candace Dillhoff. So, those two. And then here's an Easter salad. This is another Inky Antics one. from Also from Candace Dillhoff. And then there's this one. This is a Penny Black. I don't think I have this one yet. Um, 1999. And it is Garden Wheelbarrow. I probably have something similar, but not, it's not from Penny Black. Uh, this is another Penny Black stamp. Um, I just thought he was cute. I don't normally buy Halloween stamps, not very often, but I just thought he was too cute because he's dressed up like a pumpkin and he's got this um, nice like staff or wand that has a cat, a black cat, another pumpkin, and then a bat and then a moon. And then you see the little bird sitting up on top like a headlight. Cute. Treat me sweetly. Uh, this one is 1998 and it's called Treat Me Sweetly. Cute, cute. All right. And then one of my one of the sellers that sent me um, my items, like I think these stamps came from the seller. She sent me um, 
free set of uh, fine liners. And I don't know how they write because I didn't try them, but they're super fine point. I do not have a set of color. Well, I might. That's not true. Um, they work. That's green. I don't know where these come from. They're probably, they look like something you would see in Hobby Lobby. I'm going to try the green next to it. It's got two greens, which is kind of odd, but yep, it's slightly lighter. Interesting. Anyway, she sent me these as a free gift, um, or he, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I'm probably going to take them out of this case and just put them in my pen cup because I have a cup of... I have a cup on my cart. These are also, these are art liners from Spectrum Noir. I think I got these as a free... Oh, these are brush tipped. Interesting. I didn't realize these were brush tip. I think these are from boot camp. I don't remember. But anyway, I just keep them together with my other markers. And whenever I need something fine line, I can use it. And this case has got to go. That's just extra. So anyway, that is my haul for now. I'm going to see if I can't do some coloring because I've got some stamped images now that I just went ahead and stamped out and I want to play. So, yep, that's what I'm doing. Talk to you guys later. Bye.